How do you deal with an entitled woman? That's the question. Now, of course, I'm sure if you ask 50 different men, you'll get 50 different answers and solutions. But what I saw on Pink Book Lessons the other day was some wickedly cruel, funny shit. So there was this average white woman. We're going to call her Miss Becky Ann right here. Right? She's married. She has a husband. Now, her husband and her father-in-law are building the house that they live in. The husband and the father-in-law are doing the finishing touches. You know, the woodworks, the trims. So there's some sawdust and some trash they left over in the house from a day's work. And they asked her to clean it up when she got home. Being an entitled, spoiled brat, she goes on social media and puts her father-in-law and husband on blast. Screaming and bitching about it ain't her dirt. She ain't make the mess. They should clean it up. She shouldn't have to clean it up. Right? Millions of women go online and told her, don't do it. You know, put the battery in her back. Oh, you ain't nobody's slave. Make them do it. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I want you to see the aftermath real quick of what happened to this entitled woman. So this is a video I'm getting off of Pink Book Lessons channel. So fair use, fair use is videos for commentary, review and educational purposes. So fair use. Um, this is how you deal with an entitled woman. I'm a little pissy. I get this text from my father-in-law. My father-in-law, not my husband, my father-in-law. I get this. Mind you, I did not build this house. My husband and my father-in-law built it, mainly my husband. I am very grateful for that. Uh-uh, ma'am. Stop it. You are not grateful. A grateful woman would not express gratitude for her husband and father for them, along with his father. Yeah, if you were grateful, you wouldn't be on social media embarrassing your father-in-law and your husband. You would truly be grateful. And how many women do you know come home to a house that was just built for them by their father-in-law and their husband would not come into this home right here, put on some shorts and sweats, put her radio in the living room and dance, dance, dance until the house is clean. But no, not you. You went to social media to tell everybody you not doing it. So let's see the update. They don't have a crew. They don't have extra hands on deck. So they're just asking for her to help by cleaning up the space. It's not like they wanted her to install new flooring. But this is what I come home to after working an entire shift on my feet all day that I now have to clean even though I do not make this mess. I come home to after working an entire shift on my feet all day that I now have to clean even though I did not make this mess. <laughs> How does she hear how stupid that is? I, I mean, I shouldn't have to clean it because I didn't make the mess. That's like me saying you shouldn't be able to live in this house because you didn't build it. New flooring. But this is what I come home to after working an entire shift on my feet all day that I now have to clean even though I do not make this mess. 
the entitlement is ridiculous. Like she doesn't even hear herself say, this is what I come home to. Not this is what I come box to. This is what I come homeless shelter to. She said, this is what I come home to. You have a home, ma'am. All day that I now have to clean, even though I did not make this mess. Now listen, Karen, I don't care what about look what she perfectly fine. Best because I have to clean it online. Do you know almost 7 million people saw this? And you had people slamming her husband and her father-in-law. She's a liability that got the world in their business. Look at it. Yo, did you see the disgust on her face over a little bit of trash? We're talking about picking up a couple of little boxes, some wires, and some sawdust. And look what episode notification pops up while she's talking. <laughs> One of my favorite channels, Karen's in the Wild. <laughs> Look at it. I now have to pick up everything off the floor. Yeah, look what she's complaining about. Look, it's not even that messy. Just needs a little straightening out. Things need to be picked up off the floor and put in one place. That's it. And a little dust mopping. That's it. I now have to pick up everything off the floor. Mm -hmm. All of it. I have to clean this entire island. Entire all island. Their tools away. All their the tools entire, away. All this, everything off the floor. Look at all of it. Paper. I have to get all of this. A this little paper. A couple of things of sword. Cut things inside my house. Cut things in my house. So they're doing the window trims and the stairs and the woodwork, but she don't know why there's sawdust in the house. Who wants to spend time with you, bitch? It's all done tonight before my husband gets home so I can spend time with him. Mm, poor little you, it was just so much work. You notice how she quickly took ownership talking about my house. As if it's her house and not their house. That's exactly so what I said, Pink Book. you're building a house or you're renovating a house, you're gonna get soft Saw ice dust inside. Soft. Look, look. No doubt. Take a look. So last night I did not clean the house. She came back to thank people for their advice. All right, hold on, let me skip it. All right, so now that she done threw a shit fit, complained to her husband and her father-in-law that she don't want to clean up their mess, she goes back on social media the next day and gives an update. Now, if you want to hear Pink Book Lessons Breakdown, make sure y'all go over to her channel and listen to the episode in its entirety. I'm just doing it my fucking way. You know what I mean? So fair use, fair use. Shout out to Pink Book Lessons. I don't think the sister minds much. You know what I mean? Respect to the content creator. You know, but listen to what this woman says now in her update. Now that she said she putting her foot down. Side against her father-in-law. Take a look. So last night I did not clean the house. You guys really opened my eyes and made me see that like this was not my problem. It's not my thing. Boy. <laughs> look at her. Look at her. <laughs> she thinks she did something. <laughs> oh man, look at her. <laughs> she said, Thanks, guys, last night for helping me see the light, you know, and, and realizing this isn't my problem. This isn't my thing. And, and look at her. Look at the pride in her face. Like. <laughs> Oh, man, I can't wait to see how this ends. Father-in-law, take a look. So last night, I did not clean the house. You guys really opened my eyes and made me see that, like, this was not my problem. It's not my thing. There's so much. Um, I been to my husband last night and told him that I was really pissed off. And so I get home today, and this is what I come home to. A fully cleaned house. We have a little bit of stuff right here, but that's fine. That's it. They organized all their tools, and I didn't have to do a single thing. That's it. They organized all their tools, and I didn't have to do a single thing. And I didn't, and I didn't have, have to do, do a single, single thing. thing. And I didn't have to do 
a single thing. And I didn't and have, to I do didn't have to do a single a thing. Single thing. Who fell in love with her? My goodness. Oh, my God. Who fell in love with this pretentious twat? Wow. My goodness. Jesus Christ. That's fine. That's it. They organized all their tools, and I didn't have to do a single thing. And I didn't have to do... A single thing. Either they got the message that that was super disrespectful, um, or they think I'm completely incompetent and they won't ever ask me to do anything again. Either way, win for me. <laughs> win for me. Okay. Win for me. <laughs> okay. Either way, win for me. <laughs> Okay, so she got back on the internet to brag about getting her way. She didn't clean the house. That's because the other unhinged women on TikTok, they convinced her that it wasn't her problem. And that's exactly why she went there anyway. She didn't want to do it, but she wanted to get validation from a group of people telling her that she was doing the right thing by not doing it. She went. Yo, enough respect to the father, the uncles, the brother, and, and the mother uh, of fucking pink book lessons. Whoever raised that woman raised her the fuck right. I ain't heard that woman be off code not one damn time. Not once. Enough respect to the men in Pink Book Lessons family. Word. Shout out to them. On TikTok, they convinced her that it wasn't her problem, and that's exactly why she went there anyway. She didn't want to do it, but she wanted to get validation from a group of people telling her that she was doing the right thing by not doing it. She went on to complain to her husband and nagged him into getting her way, gloating in front of millions of people about how she won over her husband. But at what expense? Did she really win? She made her father-in-law look bad in front of the world. She made her husband look bad in front of the world. You had women calling them out, talking about misogyny and slavery. When by the way, anything that a man tells a woman to do, she's under the impression that that's misogynistic. I mean anything. And with this woman right here, behind that little sweet voice is an evil woman. Very, very dangerous and a huge liability. Just look at the satisfaction that she had when she thought that she won an argument. Women like yeah. Yep, yep, fair use, fair use. If y'all want to see that episode in its entirety, like I said, y'all gonna have to go over there to Pink Book Lessons channel and watch her put her twist on it. As y'all can see, she 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 on point. She on point as usual. You know what I mean? So now, I'm gonna fast forward, skip to the final update. So this chick goes on social media one more time to give a final update on what's going on with her and her situation. All right, Bunker TV. Hit that like button. If you ain't hit that like button by now, use a hater. Let's do it. And say anything just to win. This is the update. Um, it's not a good one. It's not a fun one. It actually really sucks. Um, but I'm going to keep it short and sweet. We had a long conversation a couple days ago my husband and i and we've come to the conclusion that the best thing for both of us is for this to end so we are getting a divorce uh oh no 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 it's not we decided to get a divorce. It's he decided to get a divorce. It was him that decided to get one love, love. Not you. Why? What'd you do? When, 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 after he cleaned up the mess you said you weren't going to clean up, what'd you do? <clears throat> you stormed up to him after work and said, you know what? Just for leaving me that text and then cleaning it up. I'm divorcing you. I'm unhappy. No, I doubt it. 
it's the other way around. He said, yo, you know that brat shit you just pulled? Putting my shit and my business all on social media? Not embarrassing my father, because we beyond being embarrassed. But disrespecting my father. We got to get a divorce. I no longer love you. I no longer want to be with you. And the fact that we don't have kids yet. Is the opportune time to cut my losses right here. And he saw the light. He saw what everybody already else saw in you. But he was pussy whooped. And all it took was your big mouth to break the spell. Yeah, that's what it is. Y'all wouldn't be having a good pussy whoop spell on a nigga. Then you open your mouth. Should have stuck with the spell. And now where she at? She's sitting in her childhood bedroom. Back at home at her parents' house. <laughs> this is her childhood bedroom. Back at home. So from having a house, a home, she's back to her parents' bedroom looking for an apartment. What a clown. What a clown. And didn't get on here and even apologize either. Just said what was going on with her. Just to win. This is the update. Um, it's not a good one. It's not a fun one. It actually really sucks. Um, but I'm going to keep it short and sweet. We had a long conversation a couple days ago, my husband and I, and we've come to the conclusion that the best thing for both of us is for this to end. So we are getting a divorce. Um, We've been separated for the past couple days, obviously. We just have to put the legal actions into motion. But yes, we are getting a divorce. This woman is a complete moron. She This woman is a complete moron. She This woman is a complete moron. She told everybody she was looking for an apartment and sometime after that she ended up deleting her TikTok account. She had thousands of followers and millions of views. That video right there, almost 7 million views. Of course she took it down. The trolling got too intense. <laughs> yeah, she played herself. You know what I mean? So, you know what I mean? At, at first, there was probably a couple of mild, like, oh my God, he don't know what he doing, you know? But but eventually that turned into, damn, don't you feel stupid? Oh, look at you, you played yourself. Yo, since you single, was good? Let me hit that. <laughs> Dudes is asking for her address. Yo, I come pick you up where you at. <laughs> I got some sawdust you can sweep up over here. <laughs> oh, man, I wonder what her mother and father say. Oh, man. <laughs> I wonder what her mother and father say, man. Her mother and father like, damn, you stupid. Her father, her father probably ain't saying nothing. He just sitting here giving her the prune face. Like, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. And then looking at his wife, which is her mother, like, uh-huh, that's what you get for not teaching her what my hard work was. You made it sound like everything was easy and no effort, and that's what you get. She grew up now, she entitled, and look what she done did. She done lost her entitlement. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. Shout out to Pink Book Lessons. Always be having the fly shit I be seeing. You know what I mean? I just wanted to kind of like take some snippets from that. Y'all go over there and check out the episode in its entirety. I, I just wanted to do it for the fellas because I couldn't find the story nowhere else. You know what I mean? So it is what it is. But shout out to Pink Book Lessons. That's my girl. My favorite YouTuber of 2021. Let's see who gets my favorite YouTuber of 2022. 
then I can go on that list as well. So I got to put in some work. So you already know the deal. Like, share, subscribe, or don't. Just don't be flagging my shit, because if you do flag my shit...